bring out the template and cut it out. You can adjust your printer percentage size to actually expand or shrink the size of the template. So we have the VAS A here, a uh, VAS one, and then you have A B C D E F uh, sides. So cut out the paper template and place it on the clay slab and then trim it trim the clay slab according to the template wooden strip and hold the knife a pointy knife at an angle and then cut it at an angle at a slant like this that makes a, a better seam and same as this side this side is curved so we can't use a wooden strip so then you can just do it freehand So you can see it's an angle like this, a slant like this. So we're done. So use one of these scoring tools. If you don't have it, you can just use a knife. So I can show you here. So I can just score it deep. Or you can use a knife. Template I provided for you. This is side A and side B. So side A is attached to side F, and then side C. This is side B and attached to side C. That is how I assemble it. But uh, feel free to mix it up. Doesn't have to be assembled the way uh, I gave you. So right now, what you will do is put slip on. Be generous with the slip. the tallest vase of the three so it's quite important that you have the clay slab uh, a little bit stiffer before you actually try to assemble it otherwise it won't have the strength and then inside that you will have to once you assemble the two pieces together then you need to have a sausage of clay and to strengthen it inside here like this so use a wooden tool to really press it in so you can see it here like this use your fingers If you don't have one of these wooden pedals, uh, just use a spatula, a silicone spatula, that will work. So, as you can see inside, we have one side and force it with, with a sausage that to strengthen it. So the other, the other two sides, we also need to have a sausage to put it in there. strengthen the joint and with the bottom of the vase do the scoring score deep with the plant template I provided for you it does not have i did not give you a bottom template so you just because i do not know how you assemble the free size because you can assemble anyhow you like so just roll out a piece of slab 
at the bottom uh, as the bottom so place your vase on top so I can do the scoring also So you use a wooden tool to form the bottom to the vase. And for the top, for the top of the vase here, you can trim it anyhow you like. You can trim it all at the same height or one side is higher. So I think that is the design that is up to you that how you want it. Use a wet cloth, squeeze the water out and then go in. You can use a sponge or wet cloth and to clean all the surface. So last one is done. This is vase number two, three pieces. As again, I gave you some suggestions what side to what side that you should attach, but however, that is up to you, however you want to, which side to attach to which side is up to you.
while you're cleaning the surface you might you might dent the vase a little bit if you wish you can use a wooden tool and then poke it out a little bit more once you've done all the cleaning the surface fresh out the vase a little bit. Once we roll out the clay, it's very important to understand how stiff the clay is, how dry the clay is. This is straight out from the bag, you roll it out, it's got no strength. If I want to build tall, it's just flop. Okay. If you let the piece of slab dry for a few hours under in an airy place or under a fan, it depends how airy your place is. I mean, but as you can see that it's got it's hardened a little bit. That is called the leather stage, the early on leather stage. It got strength when you build up and then it's got the strength to, to build tall. When you're rolling out clay slab, so make sure that you flip and roll in all direction. Keep flipping it and keep rolling in all direction. Pay attention to that, to those trap air. If you do see a bubble trap air, just poke it. Then you'll get rid of those uh, uh, trapped air. So it's got a lot of lines and creases and all that. You can use a spatula just to smooth the clay. Then you get rid of all, all those marks. 